you can count on continuing with reflections on the eve of election day from a journalist who has covered presidential elections for decades. He's the dean of USC's College of Mass Communications, and he's a former CNN correspondent, Charles Bierbauer, at USC Aiken tonight to give his take on the election. News Channel 6's Ann Maxwell was there. She's back live now with the story. He spoke a lot about how the nature of campaigns has changed from the founding fathers to today, with constant media coverage, billions spent on advertising, and a stream of commentary on social media. But he says in the end, it's still up to us. Journalist Charles Bierbauer has seen a lot of presidential campaigns, but none quite like this one. He's covered the White House, the Supreme Court, and several presidential races. I spent a lot of time with presidential candidates and candidates of almost all levels of government. As a political correspondent for CNN, I covered five presidential campaigns, from 1984 up through the 2000 campaign. He says the nation is especially weary this election cycle. We are all exposed to this on a constant basis. This has been the longest siege, I think, that anyone has had to deal with. But he says the amount of information can be a good thing, and voters should take advantage of the resources available. None of us should depend on one source for information, period. He says that millennials in particular should take note since they will be the ones living with the consequences of the outcome for the longest. I really want to hear Dr. Bierbauer's take on the election because to say the less, this is a very interesting election year. Bierbauer says we should know which way the republic is leaning by Tuesday evening after voters in East Coast swing states have cast their ballots. The time the East Coast has voted, um, unless we are hanging on tender hooks waiting for Nevada, we should know relatively early whether it's a, it's a Hillary win or too close to call based on the numbers. But after billions have been spent on campaigns at all levels of government, the final choices come down to us. To you folks. Uh, the government we get is the government we deserve. U.S. elections tend to have relatively low turnouts. In 2012, about 54% of the voting age population exercised that right. For comparison, Belgium, Turkey, and Sweden all had more than 80% turnout in their latest national elections. Jenny, back to you.